I'm Dr. Kim Taylor, and we're talking about what it takes to heal from your past. All of us at one time or another has been hurt or wounded by someone or something that has happened in our past. But instead of leaving it in the past, we tend to pick it up and carry this injury into our present, and we can't seem to let it go. We carry it around almost as a sort of banner to show to the world how much we have suffered. And we may even feel justified staying stuck because we have someone else to blame. But the truth is, is that no matter what someone has done to you in the past, it is just that. It's in the past. And it really has no power over you in the present unless you give it that power. This is why I say no one else has to change in order for you to get better. You can choose today, right in this moment, to move out of your past and stop dragging it around to make you feel bad about yourself and then bad about your future. You have no power to change what has happened in the past because it's over and you've survived. So focus instead on how you're going to react to what has already happened. This is how you take back your power and learn to live in the present. If you didn't like the way someone treated you in the past, then stop allowing others to do it in the present. You have to be willing to stand up for yourself in a way that you were never able to do in the past. When you are holding on to the past, the present just becomes unavailable to you because you're just repeating the same experience over and over again. In order to be present, you have to live your life in a way that you're willing to let go of the past and not have it dictate what is going to happen in the future. So the choice is yours to finally let go and live in the present. And the present is where you can finally be free. I'm Dr. Kim Taylor, and you can listen to my radio show by going to drkimtaylorshow.com. And you can also listen to the whole program by going to iTunes and downloading the podcast. See you next time.